the principal lost her head. Wait, 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 wait. no, 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 good luck. Is it just me or does that, like, effect on the head look kind of mad? Who's that? I don't know. Can I help you? Why, Why would they? I was expecting for us to know who they were since they turned around. Oh, wait, weird. Andy! Is it Andy? Oh. Any recent property damage? No. Any new dolls? In the house. Oh, okay. yeah, it's Andy. Kind of it's definitely Andy. <laughs> Wait, I forgot Charlie. Charlie. Who's Charlie? It's another Chucky. Uh oh. Wanna play? I need that. Oh. Fuck you, Andy! Did they shoot the heart? Yep, they shot the heart. Your cooperation. That was a good introduction to Andy's character. It was. Besides, you and me went through a lot as kids. Come on! Oh, that's who she is! Rachel Fairchild, you're under arrest for the murders of Megan McVeigh, Oliver Hayden, and Detective Sean Payton. What? Mom, you didn't do it. I'll see you at home. Let's go. What makes him think it's her? I guess she was the only other person there that was there beforehand. You heard the lady. How much? A thousand bucks. And you're dead. <laughs> I can have a seat for a sec. It's cancer. <laughs> you're gonna be okay. <laughs> Right. We're gonna get through this together, Ginger. Oh no. I like this. Showing Junior is more of a human empathy. Wasn't that like the first emotional scene we've got? Yeah, and uh, I think it was a good one. It was a good one. I stabbed you in the thigh ten minutes ago. You didn't feel a thing. Oh, it's been shocking. You oh. screamed like a banshee. Don't do it. <laughs> she got whacked on her head. It's over. We're done. You're gonna do that now. Oh, Junior, please. We can fix this. I'm just in. Oh. She was having character development. You know what? This is gonna develop her How character even there? more. What do you talk about in there? You talk about me? All the time. She also talks about me. Stop it. You're ruining this scene. Stop it. I've made another decision. I'm refusing treatment. I just want to live my life with my family. Because every day is a gift for all of us. You're not wrong. True. I could walk out of this office right now and get hit by a bus. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> Uh-oh. What's happening? Turn around. No. Oh, no. Oh, well, that was unexpected. I was also thinking when she said, I could go out of this room right now and get hit by a bus. I was thinking, is she foreshadowing something there? I was like, nah, I doubt she's going to die. Well, she actually died. No way. She just decided to help all of us. She just gave up. She didn't want her treatment to overtake your lives. Are you telling me she wouldn't suspect that it's possibly a murder, considering that she said that she was going to spend time with her family? Maybe she was hiding it. Right. Also, you wouldn't, like, suspect murder immediately. I mean, I would, if that's what she said. If that's what she said to yeah, me, yeah, yeah, as the yeah, yeah. therapist, I'd be like, okay, no, 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 no. There's no way she just said that to me and then just killed herself. Or is that what you would assume? You'd be like, yep, yep, she killed no, herself. No, no, So then what's no, the point, no, no, no. man? I, my point is, my point is, you see, we were fine before you came along. Damn. Curfew is still in effect. Promise me I'll stay inside. I mean, he could tell his mother about Chucky, though, right? I feel like he has an advantage here, considering it's his mom. Yeah, he definitely does. I feel like I'd tell my mom if she was a police officer. So I don't feel like my mom would be like, nah, you're waffling, you're getting prosecuted, you're getting prosecuted, shut your mouth. I feel like she'd be like, okay. She's either going to be like, you're waffling, and she's not going to do anything. She's just going to be like, a bit sus of me, but not like... Which, let, let's face it, it's you. She probably thinks you're waffling. Right. How do you know if you really like someone? When I first met your father, I had butterflies in my stomach whenever he was around. Is that how you feel about Jake? Nah, it's how I feel about Chucky, man. You need to kill him, man. We don't have time for this conversation right now, man. I miss our movie nights. Maybe next week we could do a double feature. You can invite Jake. Yeah, why don't you watch Annabelle, man? Okay. Maybe that'll get her into the spirit. <laughs> How'd she take it? None that she knows you're not a psycho. She's cool. What are the odds that he'd also be gay, though? He manifested it, man. Oh, fuck off. He subconsciously manifested that relationship, yeah? No. Yep. You know how I know that's not true, man? How? Because I've had gay niggas try get me to to be gay man and that's what and it, it doesn't work that's a manifestation of one of your beliefs man you need to get down to the root of that belief which is making that happen but i'm not gay they just tried to make me gay they were literally like oh come on man you need to try it and i'm like no <laughs> I'm not what gay. do you mean you need to try it <laughs> <laughs> what are you manifesting man you. 
Wait, what, what am I manifesting? <laughs> <laughs> There's something in your beliefs, man, that's making that happen, that's why. But they mm -hmm. were trying to manifest me to be gay and it didn't work. No, 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 If we're talking from their perspective, you're not gay because that's a manifestation of their disbelief. Yeah? If they actually believed that they was going to find someone else who's gay to try it, they'd find that if they actually believed that. And then it wouldn't be you that they'd be speaking to. It'd be someone else that is gay and that would be a manifestation of one of their beliefs. Yeah? No! <laughs> <laughs> grab the knife. Why don't you just... Um, why don't you just you know, grab the knife? Get, get, the... Yeah, I was just going to say, like, why don't you just get that knife and then like step on him? <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. He's gonna go for someone else. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she gonna believe now. <laughs> she gonna believe now. Yeah. Oh! Really? Okay. Oh, okay! Did her neck just snap? Dane, please don't tell me her neck just snapped from that. I cannot be bothered. Uh, I absolutely love the face that Devin is making right now, man. Okay, man. You know, man, to be fair, that is uh, what my mum used to say, man. My neck would snap if I fell downstairs. I don't really feel this death now that it's been done so... Oh, how did she fall down the stairs in the first place? Like, did she go off balance because she threw a doll? Okay, yeah, she actually fell from throwing a doll. She could have grabbed the banister right now, man. Can't be bothered. Uh, she could have survived all of this if she just grabbed a hold of one of these things. So there's like 50 different times she could have uh, saved herself in this, like, couple seconds, man. Oh! Oh, fuck off. Look at the way she's falling down the stairs and she somehow snapped her neck, man. No. That was, uh, that was, that was bad. That was, uh... I think that's the poorest death on here. Is there any more deaths that's poorer than this? No. This is, like, not only the poorest death in terms of, like, waste possibility, but also the least graphic. Like, so it's not even like it can make up for it with it being just very graphic. It's yeah. It's just this. Yeah, and I feel like since his mother had decent character development, they've kind of wasted that. I'm not gonna lie. They've also made me not really care as much as I would have done if it was a good death, because it's just like, how are you dying from that? I don't even care if it would have just been like a slash at the neck, man. This was just dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. I mean, it wasn't as terrible as the other episode that we gave a six. That was good up until the very end. I'll give that one a seven. Yeah, there was only that end part that really fucked it. Yeah.